Okay, so welcome back to In Her Element. My name is Sierra. Welcome or welcome back. I should be saying welcome back to myself because, baby, I took a little, you know, mental breather because the last two months of my life have real been just foolish, just foolery. And, you know, your girl couldn't create magic in foolery. So finally, I got past that energy and, you know, I'm back and I'm better. So <laughs> your girl's back on the mic. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I hope you did. But if you didn't, it doesn't matter because you're still here. So what's up? What's up? OK, so thank you so much for tuning in. OK, it feels so, so, so good to be back. I'm not even going to hold you. I didn't think it was going to feel this good to be back. But, ooh, baby. OK, I'm feeling how I'm looking. And that is just that in itself. That's a blessing in itself. OK, so this is already going to be a, a good episode. So kick back relax you know we about to get into the good stuff so today's episode is brought to you by one of my favorite songs well it was when it came out but yeah anyway that's not the thing but yeah this is like brought to you by that so yeah i was inspired and i was like hmm that's really true like i'm just trying to show up looking like a good bag okay that's all i'm just trying to show up looking like a good bag so he could be like ooh. Hmm, that's like good bag right there, okay? In all aspects of how you want to think of that, okay? In every aspect, looking like a good bag. And if you know where that little snippet, like, that I just said comes from, <laughs> yeah, we could be friends, because, yes, okay? Well, we all could be friends, it don't matter, but just know if you know, you know. Anyway, so today's topic is, okay, y'all, I know y'all love to do stuff by yourself, for yourself, okay? And especially, you know, us being boss women like we are you know we need to learn how to delegate and that's where fiverr comes in the hand like fiverr has really saved me so much in this pushing of my pod production that i've been in it really has helped me you know just get some of the back end stuff handled because maybe all i need to do is show up and look cute and that's what fiverr helps me do okay they have anybody that you need to help you with your business like anything like you need an accountant you need an assistant you need a data collector you need an organizer you need a manager like anything you want you need help with they got it okay baby and i'm gonna help you you know get some stuff off your plate because you're looking a little stressed so use the link you know sign up get a couple of dollars off your first job okay and help somebody else because they helping you so yeah Get to work, sis. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Oh, well, first, I didn't even tell y'all the update with me. So, your girl has really just, like I said, trying to get one with herself and centered because we i've had a, just a lot of changes in my life and i'm not a real changey type of person but oh yeah yeah changes are you know inevitable so yeah but your girl's out of school so i got a little a little i got a lot of free time on my hands so stay tuned the episode should be rolling out so cross our fingers cross my toes i'm gonna get it done though so anyway off topic so yeah your girl's out of school you know back to you know having fun on a daily besides you know a little in between me and dating shit but yeah like i'm feeling good i'm feeling fresh feeling renewed and especially going into this new year that we about to go into like baby yeah I feel better and I hope y'all are feeling good going into this new year because this is definitely going to be the last episode no I hope not but this might be the second to last episode of the year and I'm so grateful because you know this year I really have you know found myself and I'm so happy that I found my podcast because baby this shit is lovely and I love it and I love it for me I'm loving it for me and yeah, that's bottom line it. So let's get right into this talk. Let's get right into the show. So today's topic is green flags. Cause I'm over talking about red flags, red flags this, red flags that. Like, baby, where are the green flags that say go? Like, come on now. I'm sick of saying stop. Oh, look, don't touch, don't look. Like, I need a green that says go. I like green. We all should love green, okay? So the green flags, I need them. I need them in my life, okay? I just do. And that's the space that I'm in right now. So I was like, well, why not talk about it? Because, baby, duh, I'm talking about things that are happening in my true life. So green flags, baby, I'm looking for them. I need them. And you should too. Like, you should look for green flags just as much as you look for red flags. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I feel like they're just as equally 
important equally yoked yes because you know you want green flags too you especially want the green flags to outweigh the fucking red flags always but i just feel like you know we always don't look for the the, uh, green flags because you know we're always on guard to look for the red flags we can spot a red flag instantly but how often are you spotting the green flags you know because you know we need positivity positive love and light baby love and light that's what this episode message is love and light the greenness the green flags green go okay we just on go period we just on go and that's how i'm trying to be so yeah like i'm just over not being on guard like i'm just trying to be in my soft life and my soft womanhood that i'm developing like baby i don't always want to be on go and like stop and having my walls up like that's why i feel like green flags are just important for me just as much as red flags because baby i need to see why should i have you here yeah you don't got no red flags but where are your green flags at i I need them too you show me them too and i just feel like green flags are everything that is positive conducive to you and just all around wholesome good and positive uplifting good energy good vibes everything nice sunshines and rainbows like those are the green flags that it's giving like i love green flags like those like all of those okay well i didn't give you examples but you know those are the the vibes okay of the green flags that i that i love okay i just love them because everyone needs them and i feel like personally i get off a lot of green flags i mean i do have a lot of red flags too psych i'm definitely a green flagger and i feel like as much as green flags as i show i want you to show the same like if i'm showing you some green flags please show me mine because baby this is not it's not supposed to be one-sided like come on now if relationships are never supposed to be one-sided like no ever so that's why i've been on the hunt for green flags like I just have really let everyone go in my life that really was just giving red flags too many. And I know some of y'all are probably like shocked the way that I'm moving recently, but hey, baby, I gotta do what's good for me and my new energy. And baby, if you're not suiting that and you're not conducive to that and you're not adding to that, baby, hit the dough, hit the door, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Actually, you can't come back because I made sure of it. So yeah, baby green flags only over here Hmm. so like i said the green flags should make you feel good inside and out from front to back baby you should feel a warm and fuzzy inside okay like you just got your favorite liquor inside you 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 know that warm fuzzy feeling that that liquor give you that okay that's what the green flag should be given like it should just warm you inside and out okay and it really should make that pussy tingle too if (laughs) the green flags is really busting but that's just a little tea for me but yeah find your green flags figure out where they at and don't lose them okay and i feel like green flags are just based on boundaries as well like they go hand in hand so like if you have good boundaries you're definitely going to understand what your green flags are but if you don't know your boundaries um you probably don't know what green flags you're looking for so maybe you should probably start with your boundaries first and then you know work into your green flags but me i already know my boundaries so the green flags that i'm looking for personally is just good energy good vibes like just love and light like i could just tell like a person has good energy just by how they carry themselves and just how just instantly with the words that are coming out of their mouth even if it's simple words it's just like okay i see like the outlook of a person is very important i feel the people that you hang around should definitely have the same you know outlook that you have on life damn near a little bit because you know you should surround people who you want to not be like but you know are on the same shit as you on the same level somewhat mentally physically whatever that is for you like you know because you don't want to hang around trash because then you become trash or whatever you become that's not good around you you are a product of your environment so well not always but damn near nine times out of ten so hey baby look for those green flags in a hurry and get up and go if it's not on your level because you need the green flags you need to feel loved love is definitely a green flag i've noticed like the people that make me feel love are definitely in my green flags and that's why i keep them close and dear because love is definitely a green flag for me like if you make me feel loved and supported oh and support support is a huge green flag but we'll get to that but love you know 
love and light like i keep saying baby love is all around and it should be all around you and your space and your environment everywhere and everyone needs love i feel like that's what everyone is craving and i feel like well first it has to start with you you need to love yourself first and you know that's the message of the pod anyway we already know you know self-love self-care okay baby we practice that on a daily but just you know you gotta start there first and then you know you can look for love in your other relationships but definitely i say if you don't love yourself first maybe you shouldn't even like listen to the second part of what i'm about to say because you gotta start within maybe start there and then you know let it grow so that's what i'm just doing you know letting it grow letting it foster okay because baby it's gonna come hmm okay and then another one for me another green flag that is very super important is support i feel like everyone wants support everyone needs support a community is very important to have around you and i'm so blessed to have the family structure that i do have and the few friends that are cool and conducive to me in my life i love them too like i just am so happy that my foundation and my family is solid as a rock to where you know your girl is set for life and I feel like not everybody is blessed enough to have that foundation and if you don't shout outs to you for staying strong in this hard world because ooh we I hope you get the support that you need okay because definitely you need that to survive and we don't need it to survive necessarily but I feel like to be like a healthy human being in the society support is very you know good it's needed so yeah get some you need it find it and if they're not supporting you baby drop it that's a red flag you should already you know cut that dead that dead it okay gotta go done so finesse okay i said finesse i mean finito y'all know anyway though so those are really my mains because i'm not really i keep it real simple with the green flags just because those are the the major green flags love support kindness i love a kind person too but you know sometimes i'm not too kind so you have to be kind to get kindness back so hey be kind and then kindness will come learn from me so yes all of that just anything that is positive nice light and lovely those are the green flags and i wish you know what are y'all green flags like what is like the green flags and like your i'm talking platonically like now let's talk relationship okay (laughs) the relationships we're gonna switch it over okay the green flags that i love in you know my relationships is definitely definitely a gentleman i'm loving a gentleman lately like i'm loving the manners i love manners in in actually in any human let me not actually put this on relationships because i'm i'm not even looking for one let me stop acting like i'm trying to talk about relationships like i'm a relationship coach or like i'm a rela- no uh-uh, uh-uh. Never. sierra is by herself sierra is one we, we trying to focus on ourselves okay so run it back. Never, negative okay baby okay so like i said manners i really just lost my train of thought manners 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 are everything like i've loved manners nice kindness like oh open the door you know hold the door yes please thank you just a little slight little nice things okay like i just love you know manners manners kindness all that you know go hand in hand definitely it's giving green flag i am a sucker for them i love them because it's very rare it's so rare in to the 21st century that someone has nice clean cut manners but a like i said it's all in the household where you come from where you was you know brought up in baby so yeah it shows you just know it shows baby it shows and your green and red flags it does probably stem from your household too so yeah you definitely should probably check into that and heal from those things too you know if you want to even start looking for other people's red and green flags you probably start with your own red and green flags hmm that's probably what i should have like that's what we should have started with like the red and green flags of ourselves because we always looking at the green flags of everybody else what are the green flags of ourselves because hmm then that's a whole nother topic because ooh we ooh we that's a lot of whole like soul searching deep diving and like soul like i said soul surfing but yeah i said soul surfing Mm -hmm. that deep because it's heavy but uh, anyway those are really my main green flags though that i have and i would love to hear y'all green flags like i said because i know i'm probably missing some and there's probably some that people are going to bring up to me that i was like yeah i i i'd be with that green flag too but right now your girl is really (laughs) that's all she wrote okay so now let's get into that's a fact featuring 
my book man are from mars women are from venus okay i've been reading this book for a cool cool little minute now it's by john gray phd if you've read this book before you already know you already know this book is legendary if you trying to get with a man be with a man or you just trying to actually fuck that every human needs to read this book no matter if you want to a relationship or not every person needs to read this book because it's giving green flags on how to be a good human and have good communication skills okay it is mostly geared towards relationships but a it really is like it, it should help you communicate just with anybody not e just anybody that is platonic in your life as well because it gives some very good insights on how to be a good communicator and all that and you know that ties with being a partner too but like i said i've definitely learned a few things about how to be just a good person just not a good wife from this book and <laughs> If you know, this is why I'm going to be that wife. Because this book, I'm telling y'all, it's putting me on. And it could put you on too. So it's called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. But anyway, let's move into That's a Fact. Okay, so I was reading. And I discovered that I guess there are 12 kinds of love. Well, not really 12, but each a woman and a man have six different types of loves that are very equally important to them. And it says the primary love needs of a woman and a man. So I'm running it down, you know, women first, of course. So women need to receive one, caring, two, understanding, three, respect, four, devotion, five, validation, six, reassurance. Okay, I like those. I act like I didn't read this already. But anyway, men need to receive one, trust, two, acceptance, three, appreciation, four, admiration, five, approval, six, encouragement. Hmm. And that's the T. And that's a fact, actually. That's a fact. So, yes, get into it. And if you ain't providing that for each other, figure it out. Because I'm pretty sure that y'all ain't the happiest. So, figure it out. Y'all need to get loved. Be loved. Be one. Okay, now on to my favorite segment. I'm so happy to be back. Like, it is really unreal. I didn't think that I was going to really... I'm lying. I did miss this a lot. I just couldn't... Anyway... On to the topic. Okay, pillow kicking it. Okay, I'm happy to be back. That's all that matters. So today I'm pillow kicking it. Okay, so you know, we love to pillow kick it. So I just wouldn't be a proper home girl if I didn't tell y'all about these vitamins. Baby, these taste vitamins. Mm, okay, ain't nothing like them. They are so good and they do exactly what they say they do. Okay, baby, they will have you tasting just as good as you look, baby. Sweet and divine okay so these vitamins are packed with natural ingredients such as banana powder strawberry powder pineapple powder all the different powders okay so they're very organic very natural and they vegan you know for the healthy conscious people out there too okay so these pills just balance your ph level so baby you know you balance and you taste good okay so you need to get you some because i promise you know don't you want your man sucking you like the last piece of chicken off that bone baby so and you're gonna be mm, he just gonna eat you like you was that bone okay for dinner so baby just get you some and i'm gonna help you even get you a bottle or a few actually grab you two bottles one for you and one for your man you know because baby anybody could take these vitamins so use the code in her element and let me know how it went because baby i know y'all gonna have a good night and you're welcome so enjoy this was inspired from my little mental break that i was having <laughs> creatively and just in everything i was really having just a breakdown so i was like wow i can't believe i'm this down bad and this is all this topic stems from that so fallbacks okay we all know what a fallback is and if you don't know what a fallback is i'll be happy to tell you a fallback is just you know that person in your contact list that you know is not your not saying not necessarily not your favorite but they're definitely not your first draft pick and they're definitely not your first string runner that you're calling when you need you know you know that good little release you're definitely not calling them that's not what a fallback is there for no 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 a fallback baby is the last 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 i'm talking about very very last last resort i'm talking about when you have exhausted every i'm talking about every option i'm from the front to the back to the sides to the walls all of it door crevices everything okay 
the crumbs gone nothing was left like that's what a fallback is there for because you know the fallback gonna come in nicely and you know pick you back up and you know get you right back to you know where you left off because after an interaction with a fallback you know you, you should definitely wake up and be like whoa this is an all-time low like i'm messing with a fallback again like it's crazy but anyway so yeah a fallback is just a person that you know is just last on your bottom tier list of you know your people your interests your personal interests not your personal interests but the people that you like okay the people that you're talking to they're the last okay they're the fallback okay you you fall back on them when you're down bad okay bottom line i was like i can't believe i'm over here thinking about calling up a fallback like I couldn't believe I was just in the state like I was really about to call a fall like call a fallback like no ladies and gentlemen I don't know if gentlemen listen to me but anyway don't don't fall into a fallback when you are falling into <laughs> the darkness okay or whatever you're going through don't hit that fall back up because you really 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 don't want them you really don't want to have an interaction with them you really it's just you don't need it you don't need it it's just in the moment feeling that you really want to heal and yeah it's just not worth it i'm sorry ladies it's not worth it now i'm pretty sure all the men you know half of them do this all the time but i just feel like ladies you know we should just definitely hold ourselves you know higher and just no no there's eight billion people in this world hit up someone else hit up anybody else okay because a fallback no especially after you have created boundaries and was like i'm not ever gonna speak to that person again i'm never gonna go back yeah definitely uh uh-uh when you hit that low point the, that fall you can we, we can't go back to the fallbacks it's just it's no it's not healthy for us like i said we're trying to move into love and light positivity good vibes everything nice and the fallbacks oh, it's not giving that it's giving everything but that and that's why they're the fallback okay so definitely don't okay take it don't do it and so i'm happy i actually you know a little tea I didn't give in to my fallback tendencies. I didn't. And I kept strong and I didn't. But the fact that I was even considering a fallback, I just was like, oh, I got to bring it up because that's really crazy. Like, it really goes to show, like, damn, I was really considering going back. Hmm. Never. (laughs) Silly me. So silly. (laughs) What is it? What is it? Silly Billy. Crazy. Like, it's no. Just no. Because... The feelings are not even there enough for you to even go back. Like, it's just the fallback. And that's why I say, we got to let the fallbacks go. I think after this year, I'm letting all my fallbacks go. I'm going to just release them. I'm not going to have no fallbacks next year. (laughs) Next year, I'm not going to have fallbacks. It's just going to be either you are or you're not. No fallbacks. I'm not going to have a holding face for some people. Some people I'm not holding space for in the next year. And (laughs) that's just that. I'm just not holding space. I don't have enough, baby not enough for you so <laughs> i'm not personally the fallbacks are not in next year at all so hey if you were a fallback thank you so much for your time i greatly appreciate it and you know wish you the best peace and blessings <laughs> peace and blessings because you get no love over here anymore and i definitely feel like you know some people you know definitely need to stop talking to their fallbacks too because that's how we're back in the same situation so Hey, baby, come on now. Let's get back our head in the game, okay? The new year is starting. (laughs) There's 8 billion people now. Come on. In the sea. Now, come on. So, yeah, that's how I feel about the fallbacks. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all, like, ever want to hit up y'all fallbacks? Like, now, I'm not talking about the people that you care about. I'm talking about fallbacks. Fallbacks. I'm talking about your your fifth string on the lineup, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all calling them when y'all in that bottom rock bottom place do y'all hit y'all fallbacks up sometimes because i hope i wasn't the only one i'm probably i know i'm not actually but i just want to know how many people really be hitting up their fallbacks you know here and there but hey i love it for y'all like i said i love it for you baby i love it for you Hmm. but now on to the flower segment okay i'm gonna start i think i'm gonna call it the flower crowning ceremony but today's flower crown that i'm giving i have a couple to give and 
First one goes to my physics tutor, Mr. Jim. Shout outs to Mr. Jim, dog. He was really the main reason I passed physics, honestly. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, to, shout outs to that man. That man really carried me through and he never left me. And I wanna say shout outs to you. Even though you're never gonna hear this, just know, Mr. Jim, you that guy. And that's bottom line. So thank you. I'll see you next year. And second goes to Harry and Meghan. Okay, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Ooh, I said it right. Yeah. Okay, I watched a little documentary or whatever, and I'm in true love. Like, I I feel like I was in true love watching them. Like, honestly, if people are still hating on them after that whole documentary that they shared their lives personally, like, why y'all hating, dog? Why y'all, y'all don't want love? Y'all don't want love? Y'all don't believe in love? Like, it made me believe in love well i'm a hopeless romantic so i always believe in love but harry and megan really i just love the whole message like it was just their story like how can you hate on someone's truth i don't i I can't ever get behind that i can never get behind someone telling someone that wasn't your truth like what but anyway i'm here to just commend them on just standing 10 toes okay and saying institution baby y'all gonna either respect or we gonna get going and they said we gonna get going because baby they ain't giving no respect so hey i love it and i love the true love okay because harry's still for his motherfucking woman okay he's still for his wife and that's what his daddy probably was shocked like he wasn't gonna stand with his wife baby sorry he ain't you baby he gonna stand with his wife okay he want a happy home okay look at him he got a happy life he, he live i mean he i mean he's living the american dream even though he's a brit i mean i feel bad for the dude because he really had to move and uproot out of his whole life but hey he got a happy life happy family and i love it for them i was very touched okay i loved it and i just want to say that megan girl mm, baby keep doing your thing okay keep doing your thing even though she probably like won't ever hear that well i don't know let me not downplay she might but anyway i'm loving megan because megan stood 10 toes okay and she ain't even 10 toes did what she's supposed to do and they you know she showed her character and it just you know the cream of the crop will always rise to the top and baby it's literally showing and playing out and that's exactly why they are where they are and you know for the people that are just just sad souls i don't know what to tell y'all y'all are just sad souls because baby okay Megan she loved that man okay okay when I get married that's how I'm gonna look she looked at her husband for every answer and I was just I could I was just like oh okay she said H okay every time she who speaks for them the, the husband okay he spoke for I was just in love with it. anyway y'all could tell so shout outs to them keep doing your thing love it for y'all you know definitely love it and then last but not least you know <sighs> I know I'm late but you know RIP to take off like oh it's terrible oh, one of my favorites one of my favorites not even gonna lie one of my favorites and i'm gonna put y'all on to something too because y'all probably don't know because i personally was a takeoff fan i'm a migo fan but i'm a takeoff fan bottom line and if y'all don't know his song ohio y'all definitely should go bump it and spin it because it's definitely i listen to it every night to read my books and you know to clean up my house i love it i love it when i just need just to go to just escape it's an escape song and i love it and i'm so happy that take off left it for you know all of us to listen to it and i am wishing him and his family nothing but the best and everything this holiday season which is crazy that he won't be there with his family oh so yeah definitely go spin ohio though and you're welcome (laughs) you're welcome okay y'all so that's all that i have for today's show yeah you dig i'm out of here i hope y'all have a good holiday season and bye sisters